in my room. So just for like a little backstory on this, it's uh, from a 1949 film, so really old, uh, called The Third Man, their terror, murder, and bloodshed. But they produced Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, and the Renaissance. And what did that produce? The Cuckoo Clock. So long, Holly. Can you mark? Can you meow? Do you have any idea how impossible what I am going after already is? Do you? It's so damn hard and I can't, and I can use some kindness. Just some. It's for Leon Williams. <laughs> and now the sun is upon the highmost hill of this day's journey, and from 9 till 12 is three long hours. Yeah, she has not come. We can't accept bribes. Uh oh, well, that's too bad. Let me see where my little one is. Right. Thank you. Oh, is this regret to inform you that your husband, John Andrew Prentress, was captured by the Italian government during a military action on the 4th? Well, spare me your melodramatic bullshit, Emily. Who cares? Nobody cares. Your lips, your eyes get all squinty and horrible. And when you smile, you look absolutely insane. It always went back into your gambling habits, drinking, and women on the side. Don't think I don't know about the fooling around you've done. When I get old enough, I knew all too well what you were up to. Embarrassing. So many people are so good at like being that type of character. But I feel like we have to see like who can be versatile enough to also fit the other It's okay. It's okay. You got it. Hi, my name is Earth, aka Egg, because I'm lit. This is me before Culture Night Read Through. Hey, this is Janice. Uh, this is me before the Culture Night Read Through. Hi, I'm Zach, and this is me before the Culture Night Script Read Through. I'm Lucas, and this is me before Culture Night Read Through. Hi, everyone. My name is Reese, and this is me before Culture Night Read Through. It's Zach. I ran into him. I haven't seen him in a while. You guys were friends, right? Treat us like we were nothing. We can't just disrespect all of his hard work by letting this one argument change our whole family. You might not care about Dad or Sabu or this family, but I will not follow you in your little scheme to tear this family apart. Steady breathing, Ozzy. The wound doesn't look so bad. You're gonna be okay. Yeah, I think you just skinned me. But it still hurts. I can imagine. So you'll, you'll be okay. Just push through. Zach, how do you feel about the script? Is it good? Uh, it's, it's intense. It's, it's intense. It's nothing you've ever seen before. How about you? Hey, guys. Script? Thoughts on the script? Don't. Oh! Go, 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 How do you feel about the script, Earth? Oh my god, it's crazy. Crazy. <laughs> how about you, how about you, Trisha? How's the script this year? Interesting. Ten, ten. Interesting. I like how different it is. Don't you understand sacrifice? Look around, Angela. Take a look at the pearls on your neck, the heels on your feet, the clothes on your back. So what? This is the work of a man. A man of the people. Uh, no, that's not what. <laughs> Jay, what are you? Maybe I wouldn't have to work so hard if you did some real work for this. Oh, oh no! My <laughs> people over guns? Vinny, please sit down. Mm. We're getting stairs. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't even realize there were this many people. I just can't believe this. Kayla, how do you yes. feel after day one? Guys, it's really hot. It's really hot in here. <laughs> Guys, I'm trying to close it! Hi, I'm Earth. This is me after the culture and ice cream feeding thing. I just want to play ball. Hey, hey guys. Um, this is Janice. And I'm... Uh, this is me after, um... Uh, culture night readers. I'm Zach, and this is me after the Culture Night script read through. Good morning, everyone. If I have not had the pleasure to meet you, 
I'm called CJ today. Mm, when you're talking to Zach, when you're taking, like, trying to help, turn out more, because you were speaking towards stage left. You need to turn out more to the audience. Billy, we are. What's the name? Johnny? <laughs> we are Johnny is trying to protect me. Trust me, I want to do what I can too, but let's just let them do their thing. Haya Yes, you're right. Whoa, isn't that near where we live? This past week. Your father works very hard every day to fight for us and Cebu. The least you could do is show up. When you like do any of your whisper lines, it it's like it's louder than it was last time we worked through it. Wait, 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 I need to get information on this right now. Please, Jay, Jay, please.
So this is this is the end. I'm Anthony Ramirez, Levi Berkheimer. I do the traditional dancing. I'm in backstage and props. We do traditional Filipino dancing, which includes like tinickling and stuff like that. Yeah. So backstage, we um, so we set up the stage, and so we take the podiums and registers and chairs off the stage, and we put them back on the stage. And then props. Uh, we haven't started that yet, but we're gonna make props for the culture night. We've been practicing every uh, like Tuesday and Thursday, but I've gotten used to it so far. I think it's going great. We're practicing Sunday through Thursday for backstage and props, and yeah, it's going pretty good. And how do you feel that your um, connection to your culture has kind of elevated through this experience? I think it's grown a lot since um, I've never done traditional dancing before this, and I think it was a great opportunity to learn. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, I was pretty connected with some of my grandparents. Um, they taught me a lot about the culture, but um, I've never seen the traditional dancing. And yeah, I feel, I definitely feel connected more. My name is Reese Joyce Alazo. Christine Varenga. I have a secondary role, it's Mary Videnia. I'm Props Head. Essentially, I've just been in Hibs 407 for the last like month or so, and we've just been working together as a, and just like running through the script and doing a lot of fun stuff. I'm in charge of getting the props committee to um, create the props to meet up, you know, make sure they're on time, make sure they're updated on what their part is in the whole culture night scene. Um, and they're doing amazing, you know, so. Honestly, I've been really involved with it. So it's just so like kind of like, I don't know, satisfying in a way to see like how it's all coming together and going really well. I think it's really fun, especially watching all of the freshmen and like <laughs> all of the newcomers do their first culture night because I was in it last year or I helped with it last year and seeing all of them experience it the same way I did and you know like everybody having fun it was really sweet you know. Before culture night I didn't know much Tagalog and there's a lot of words that I like I struggled with and like kind of like getting that like accent down too it was kind of a, a process but it's been really fun to learn more about Tagalog and like kind of like a little bit of insight onto like what our issues in like the Philippines too. I learned how to tinikling mm -hmm. and I told my parents about it and they're really happy. So I guess um, that's like a little something I learned in my culture that I didn't really have much experience in before anything culture night, anything fact really. My name is Vincent Cabigo. I'm a hitman, number <laughs> one, in uh, fact culture night. It's, it's a fun watch even though um, I'm not entirely in it all the time. Uh, I love the actors and the story. It's a classical, it's a very classic Filipino drama. A bunch of twists. But one thing I've learned is uh, perseverance pays off. Uh, a lot of things pay off, but just persevering, learning your lines, showing up every night, 9 to 11, um, it pays off a lot. Please watch the show. <laughs> yeah, come to Culture Night. I love Culture Night. I love my little. Oh, I love my baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool.